This is a check on the Louisiana swamp worms that I got. Let's see, I fed them on this side. Let's see if we see anything. Oh, there are. They are right underneath the surface. Right where they should be. Okay, let's check their feed area. It's nice. Oops. I'm trying to get worms so you can see them. And so I can see them. they're doing on here. I think I just fed them uh, watermelon and apple. Oh, this is newspaper. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. Look at all them babies. All those kids. Come on camera. I know you can focus. There we go. That is a Louisiana swamp worm. It's big ones and small ones and medium sized ones. There's a baby right. Let's see if I can isolate it right there. You can see how thin it is. Small. Okay, let's see the rest of the food. Well, they didn't quite finish the watermelon rind. Maybe they don't like watermelon rind. I'm not quite sure. Well, there's just the skin. Let's see what, what else. Man. healthy looking specimens and they do have come on camera they do have a bit of a blue sheen to them interesting right there's apple Purplish, bluish sheen.
So that's different from the just the regular red ones. Another baby right there. Okay, that's another apple. I think it takes like two weeks for them to get into the apple. The a apples cut this size, anyways. They're smaller, they're not the big humongoid apple pieces. Okay, let's see what else we have here. just so much fun looking at these worms, <laughs> especially when they're brand new. Okay. What's this? Oh yeah, apple. See, they're crawling around the apple, but not quite in it yet. Takes a couple weeks, like I said, for them to get in it. But they did get in it. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and fluff up this bed. Let's see, which you don't need to come along with me on that. It's just aerating the bed like I normally do. Checking everything out, making sure the worms are okay, making sure the moisture is okay, um, bedding, make sure there's enough bedding for them to get into. All right, um, and I'll be back with their food. Okay, so the food uh, for the swamp worms today is just more apples and some watermelon and uh, oh, what do you call that, uh, worm chow on top. And that's it for this week. Um, let me cover them up and we'll check back next week to see how they're doing. And um, what I do cover my bins with is bubble wrap, um, which I'll just do off camera since it's you know, bubble wrap. <laughs> but I, you know, put them on and take them off, off camera. So we'll see you next time, and thank you for coming on this journey with me.